folks welcome back to another video today we're looking at question 1331 a rank transformation of an array the way we'll be approaching this problem is by using a tree map so basically what we're going to do is we're going to add all the values that we see in the array into the tree map and then after that uh, we look at all of the the values that we have in the in the, the tree map and assign ranks to that because we can iterate through that and we would get that in the order that we want and then once we have assigned all of the ranks, we just um, map them to the elements that we have here and get the rank. Uh, it's a pretty simple problem, so let's jump right in. The first thing we actually need is a tree map, so let's initialize that. Um, and both of the things that you will be storing is integer and integer. And let's just call it map as new tree map. And uh, yeah, you just close it as is. And what you need to do next is for int i in array, you would just put map.put um, i and zero, and you just assign the rank to zero. You don't really care about it right now. And then you would call, uh, so you have to iterate through all of the, um, the values. in the tree map, so uh, let's just initialize that. So let's just add dot entry would be equal to map dot, uh, <clears throat> I think it's entry set. Awesome, hopefully this should work. And then entries, so let's say uh, in dot current would be equal to um, entries dot, get key so you're looking at the key currently that you have and then what you need to do is you need to add that back to the map and map dot put you put current but you also need to put the rank so let's just initialize a rank in a rank to be equal to one since it will it will start with one you just put in the rank and then you increment it after you've put it so anytime you take a number um you uh, look at it and put the rank and then increment it and the reason why this works is because tree maps they store all of the keys in ascending order. So that's the reason why this works. And once you have that, let's initialize the resulting error that you will um, return. You could possibly use the same error as well, um, but let's just go with this. So let's say int res would be equal to new int. We need to get the length of the original array. And so let's just do that. Awesome. And then let's say index, int index is equal to zero. And then for int i in array, what we're going to do is we're going to say res of index is equal to um, map dot get i. Yeah, so you're getting the rank right here and then you just need to increment index right after you have assigned so that you um, populate the next, next index in the next iteration of the for loop. And once you're done with that, you just need to return uh, rest. Awesome. So let's compile this and see if it's okay. First test case is okay. Everything else is okay as well. Awesome. Uh, so let's talk about the space and the time complexity of the entire solution. The space complexity of the entire solution is open since we are in fact using a tree map to store and also a resulting array. We could possibly have eliminated this, but the time complexity would still be the same since we are using a tree map regardless. And the space, com uh, the time complexity is n log n. And the reason why that is, is because like uh, putting entries into the tree map would require of n log n time complexity. So that's the reason why we have that. Awesome. If you have any questions about this problem, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I would really appreciate it. It definitely motivates me to make more videos. Um, thanks so much. I'll see you all in the